Prince Harry and Meghan have been exiled by the royal family. My family, that's what has happened. Harry and Meghan have been forced to flee the UK. And now the royal family is sending a message that there is no way whatsoever whereby if Harry and Meghan come to the UK, they can ever be safe or secure. Look, of course Harry and Meghan can come to the UK anytime they want. However, what the royal family is doing is ensuring that if they do, that they can't have a safe place to stay. And no wonder they have done hideous, monstrous things like strip Harry off of his security. No wonder they've done that. And they've done that for a reason. Not just to endanger the life of Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. To ensure that they are unsafe while in the UK. At the same time, the royal family, you have Charles, William, doing everything in their power to leak anti-Harry and Meghan stories, which get Harry and Meghan targeted with vitriol and hate. And my family, just last year, we heard from Charles after the Queen passed away. And he said, and I quote, much love to Harry and Meghan as they spend their lives overseas. The decision had already been made a long, long time ago, a long, long time ago, that Harry and Meghan were to be exiled. But of course, as you all know, the goal was to make Harry stay, but Meghan to leave. But because they haven't been able to split Harry from Meghan, the royal family have resorted to extreme measures. And my family even, when Harry speaks about leaving the UK, he doesn't say that he left the UK. He says he fled the UK. The language he has used in his memoir spare is when we fled the UK. When I chose to take my family away, fleeing the UK. That's the language that Harry has used. And even in an interview with Stephen Colbert, he used those exact languages. He fled the UK. Because that's what happened. Fled. Not because he wanted to leave his home country. No. Because he was forced to flee. By forces beyond, more powerful beyond Harry's control. More powerful than him. You have the, the farm, very powerful, and the tablets aligning themselves together to hound Harry and Meghan out of the royal family because of jealousy. My family, for those who watch The Lion King, allow me to just speak about it kindly. It's an animated, you know, movie whereby you have the king, Simba. There was this part in the scene whereby Simba was exiling, exiling someone called Kovu. You know, Kovu. And here's what he said. I now pronounce my judgment. Exile. Exile. And at that moment, you have the elephants, the, the animals, the wildlife, the wildlife there. You know, Kovu was out. He did not live there willingly. He left there because the king had passed his judgment. That judgment was exile. When you are exiled, you do not live willingly. No. You are forced to leave. You are forced out. And that's what happened to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And my family, the anger here comes because, you know, it comes from the fact that no matter what they've thrown towards Harry and Meghan, they have seen this mere campaign just ain't working. It ain't working, no matter what they've done. Because they've gone after Harry and Meghan so, so hard. But despite all of that, you have people 
willing to hear Harry's story. You have people believing Prince Harry telling his story. And you have William, Charles, being exposed in how poorly they have treated both Harry and Meghan. Because they know what they've done. They know they have mistreated Harry and Meghan. They know that. And what their anger is, is that they were exposed. I mean, these people, Charles, William, Kate, Camilla, they have no qualms, no problem leaking stories about Harry and Meghan to the press. Because the stories that have been leaked across multiple outlets, day after day, hour after hour, for many, many years right now, my family, it will surpass the pages in Harry's memoir, Spare Itself. That's what it would do. And my family, imagine being angry because someone has simply exposed you for what you're doing to them. Trying to destroy you. And you're angry because you're being exposed. Because that seems to me why they're so angry. To be exposed. My family, please just hear what Harry himself said about this kindly. It's important that you do. For the last however many years, let's just focus on the last six years, the level of planting and leaking from other members of the family means that, in my mind, they have written countless books, certainly millions of words have been dedicated to trying to trash my wife and myself. And he started saying, trying to trash my wife and myself. He said my wife first because the goal has always been to break his wife, to destroy his wife, Megan, and also to destroy his marriage to Megan. And my family, the tabloids and the trolls and the carnival of so-called experts that the royal family have employed to spin the story in their favor, to spin Charles' cruelty in their favor, to stop being so manipulative. I mean, none of them are going to complain about the leaks they've received from Charles or from William despite them mentioning exactly that indeed the leaks are coming from the palace. They're okay with that because that is the game. That's how the game is played. You leak stories against, you know, another office and then you get good press. And you're angry because one person, two people, had him again, won't play that game of leaking stories against the others. Because of that, you incite hate against them because they don't want to play the game. And also because you can't stand that Harry married an American woman and also a better black woman, Megan. You also can't stand that. My family, all of that just being, you know, about racism and also xenophobia because that's what happened to Megan. And some people are much angrier that Harry has gone on record to speak about what has happened to him and his wife, to defend his family, his wife and kids, and expose the abusers, than they are about the abusers who have leaked and planted lies about Harry Megan. I find that so much, you know, full of hypocrisy, full of hypocrisy. You know, and the thing is, why doesn't anyone bring that up on TV, in these TV shows? They don't bring it up because it does not fit the narrative. It does not fit the narrative. And that they're okay with other members with their own family leaking stories about Harry. So they can get good press. But they are angry that they can't make a profit because Harry is telling his own story from his own mouth and making millions of it. You know, the anger and jealousy also from tabloids comes from the fact that Harry is making millions. $20 million reportedly from Spare. They're angry about that because when they look at that money, they feel like that is what they are entitled to. That is their money. That only they should make money from talking about the royal family. That's also hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy. And my family, Charles, is not exiling Harry right now. He did that years ago. The decision was made years ago, you know? And even Harry's memoir itself says it, you know? Harry chose half in, half out. 
But then clearly, there was no option for that. The courtiers saw to that. The courtiers, the bee, the fly, and the wasp that Harry says in his book, they saw to that that there is no half in or half out. And clearly, even from Harry's memoir, we heard indeed that courtiers are even lying, were lying to the queen at the time. From Harry's memoir, were lying to the queen herself. And guess what? They never could do that without the express approval, authorization from William and Charles themselves. And already, they had made the decision, Meghan out. They just never thought that Harry would go with his wife. And they're angry that not only has Harry left with his wife, fled with his wife, but also defends his wife from abuse. Because they have never ever stopped coming after Harry and Meghan. How is that okay? How is that acceptable? It's not okay. When someone attacks you, you have a right to fight back and say no, 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 no. When someone lies about you, you have a right to fight back. And the royal family is angry that Harry and Meghan are fighting back against the lies that they have told about them. So, Charles, as I end this video, did not make the decision to exile Harry right now because of Harry's memoir's prayer. No, that decision was made long ago, long, long ago. And my family, it's high time that people call out their own family for its cruelty towards Harry Megan and also for its hypocrisy. You know, it's they who have made a deal with Tablet Media. And they, the royal family, should leave out Harry and Meghan from their deals with the tabloids. They should. My family, <sighs> Harry and Meghan were always right to the story. Always. And they made the right choice. And my family, even staying away from toxic people, is indeed the right choice. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our evergreen family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Elizabeth, and Dory England. And all of you, members of the squad at home. Love you, family, always and forever. And stay tuned to our next video. Harry and Megan will once again be just all right. Away from toxic, toxic people. And the whole family continue to show Harry and Megan were right about them. That they are very, very cruel. Unworthy of being called a family. Stay tuned to our next video.